math time. Good day, everyone. Today we're going to talk about theorems on trapezoid. Okay, let's start with theorem number one. It says here that the base angles of an isosceles trapezoid are congruent. So let's make use of this illustration. We have trapezoid, S T A R. So again, where is our base angles in this illustration? So right here, we have a pair of base angles. We have angle S and angle R. And so with angle T and angle A. Again, from this illustration, knowing that segment SR is parallel to segment TA. And segment ST is congruent to segment RA. So what are, again, what are the base angles here? We have base angles. Okay, so we have angle S and angle R. Angle T and angle A. So from this theorem, it says that this pair of base angles are said to be congruent. So therefore, we can conclude that the measure of angle S is congruent to the measure of angle R. And so with, the measure of angle T is congruent to the measure of angle A. Is that clear? Now, let's take for example, okay, if the measure of angle S is equal to 70 degrees, how much is the measure of angle R? So right here, we could say that the measure of angle R is equal to 70 degrees. So this one is 70. It means to say that angle R is also equal to 70 degrees because of this theorem number 1. And let's say for uh, another example would be if angle T is measure of angle T is equal to 110 degrees. Therefore, you could say it also that measure of angle A is equal to 110 degrees. Is that clear? Now, let's move on to theorem number 2. Stating that opposite angles of an isosceles trapezoid are supplementary. So, right here, we have a trapezoid PLAN. Again and again, that segment PN is parallel to segment LA. Wherein PL, segment PL rather, is congruent to segment uh, NA. Alright, so if we're going to have this angle P, okay, what side, what angle is opposite to this angle P? And that is angle, okay, angle A. So in this case, opposite angles of an isosceles trapezoid are supplementary, so meaning the measure of angle P plus the measure of angle A is equal to 180 degrees. Same thing when we have angle L and angle N. So therefore, you would have measure of angle L plus the measure of angle N is equal to 180 degrees. Now, suppose, okay, if the measure of angle N is equal to 80 degrees, Okay, identify the other measure of the uh, uh, angles in trapezoid plan. So we are asked to identify measure of angle P, measure of angle L, and so with, can we have it here, measure of angle A. So let's start with angle P. Well, of course, we'll go back to the first one. The base angles of my isosceles trapezoid are congruent. So since angle N is 80, so therefore this would be equal to 80 degrees. And we are asked for the measure of angle L. 
So, angle L with angle N, these are opposite angles. So, therefore, it should be, it measures 180 degrees. So, if we're going to solve, uh, we have measure of angle N plus the measure of angle L is equal to 180 degrees. This is 80 degrees plus the unknown one, the measure of angle L, is equal to 180 degrees. So we have to transfer 80 degrees on the other side, applying subtraction property of equality. So in that case, you have measure of angle L is equal to 180 degrees minus 80 degrees. So therefore, what is 180 minus 80? Okay, so that is 100 degrees, meaning to say, the measure of angle L is equal to 100 degrees. So this angle here is 100 degrees. Well, of course, uh, angle A are base angles. Uh, so therefore, this would gonna be also equal to 100 degrees. Is that clear now? Okay. Okay, let's move on to the third theorem. We have here the diagonals of an isosceles trapezoid are congruent. So we have an isosceles trapezoid care. So C-A-R-E. So again, this side in here is parallel to that one. And of course, that la a side rather is congruent to that one. Okay, so uh, diagonals of an isosceles trapezoid. So if we're going to connect the... Uh, a point in here, we have point C connected to, okay, that one, let's say that way, okay. We have segment CR, okay. So, segment CR, we have formed that one. That is the first diagonal. And the other one is, we have this one. Okay. So, we have segment a E. So these two segments are said to be the diagonals of our uh, diagonals of trapezoid care. Okay. So again, it says here that these diagonals are congruent. So therefore, you would have to say that the segment C R is congruent to segment. A, E. So whatever the length of segment C, R will also be the length of segment A, E. So like, say for example, if measure or measure of segment C, R is equal to 8 centimeter. Well, of course, definitely you would have to say then the segment or measure of segment A, E is also equal to 8 centimeter. Is that clear? Okay, let's upgrade further. Okay, so we have if segment AE is equal to X plus 2 and segment CR, okay, CR is equal to 10. Okay, so what is the value of our X in this problem? Well, of course, for our solution, we would have that segment AE is congruent to segment uh, CR. So right there, AE is X plus 2 equals 10. So solving for X, uh, we will transfer positive 2 on the other side. So that comes out, X therefore is equal to 10 minus 2. Applying subtraction property of equality. So what is 10 minus 2? X therefore is equal to 8. Okay, that is... This segment AE, we're in X plus 2, that is 8 plus 2, will give us 10. They are still congruent. That is theorem number 3. So we have theorem number 4. The median of a trapezoid is parallel to each base and its length is equal to half the sum of the lengths of the bases. So we have here an illustration of a trapezoid. Okay, so let's identify first what is median of a trapezoid. 
So when you say median of a trapezoid, it is a segment joining the midpoints of the legs. Okay? So we have here trapezoid stay. We have S-T-A-Y. And right here, uh, the bases we have segment T-A and segment S-Y. So again, let us assume that segment T-Y is our base 1 and segment S-Y is our base 2. So if these are the bases, therefore, this side in here, side ST and side AY, these are the legs of our trapezoid. So again and again, as we can relocate the median of a trapezoid, it is the segment joining the midpoints of the legs. So of course, we have to identify where is the midpoint of segment ST. So let's assume that this is the point that is point B. And of course, on the other side, we have segment AY. Let's say the midpoint is X. Okay. So if we're going to connect them together, you would have therefore segment. So as we can see here, the median of a trapezoid is parallel to each base. So we have segment BX is now parallel to segment TA and segment SY. So again, we have BX or segment BX is the midpoint or I mean the median, the median of trapezoid, okay, stay. All right. Now, let's now proceed. It says here that each, uh, its length is equal to half. So meaning the length of this is, we have segment BX. The length of segment B, uh, BX is one half. The sum of the lengths of the bases. So we have sum. So meaning base 1 plus the base 2. Or you could have... We have BX equals one half. Our base one here is TA, okay, plus segment SY. Or another way around of writing, you could have segment BX is equal to TA or segment TA plus segment SY over two. Is that clear now? Okay, let's take for example. Okay, so if our base 1, if our base 1 is equal to 8 centimeter, and our base 2 is equal to 12 centimeter, how long is the median BX? Okay, so right here, we have to make use of this formula. We have BX is equal to, what is our base 1 here? Okay, base 1 plus base 2 divided by 2. Alright, so our base 1 is 8 centimeter plus base 2 which is 12 centimeter divided by, by, uh, divided by 2. So 8 plus 12, that will give us 8 plus 12, 20 centimeter divided by 2. So therefore, what is 20 divided by 2? That is 10 centimeter. That is the length of our segment BX. So this one. So that length is 10 centimeter. Base 1 is 8 and SY is 12. Are there questions? Alright. Thank you so much for listening about theorems on trapezoid. God bless everyone.